Hello everyone, welcome to this video on triplets, sometimes called triples, same thing. In this video, you'll learn how to identify them and how to use them to help solve more challenging puzzles. Triplets work the same way as matching pairs, except instead of two cells with two numbers, we have three cells with three numbers. All three numbers don't have to be in all three cells. Let's start by looking at a simple example. Here you can see the entire grid has been filled in with all the possible candidates for each cell. Here in row A, column 3, we see a naked single, the 1. There is no other number that can be in that cell, only the 1, so we could go ahead and fill in the 1. Right next to it is a hidden single, the 6. It's hiding behind the 9. But it's the only place a 6 can go in row A, the 6 can't go here because there is already a 6 in block 1. So since row A needs a 6, and it can't be in these two cells since they are in block 1, then it must go here. The 9 could also go there. There are no other 9s in the row, column, or block. So the cell can contain a 6 or a 9. But it must be a 6 since row A needs a 6, and this is the only cell in row A that can contain a 6. This 6 is hiding behind the 9, so it's called a hidden single. Good, now let's get back to the triplets and how we can use them. Do you see the triplets in column 1? It's the 1, 7, and 9. There is also a triplet in column 2. It's the 1, 4, and 8. Before I get to how powerful a triplet can be, let me first define triplets a little better. A triplet is when three different numbers in a unit are shared between three different cells. If you find a triplet, you can then eliminate all the numbers from anywhere else they appear in the same unit. Remember, a unit is either a row, column, or block. So since the 1, 7, and 9 are in the same column and block, we can eliminate all other 1s, 7s, and 9s from column 1 and from block 7. So let's start with column 1. We can eliminate this 1. There are no 7s and we can eliminate this 9. So now we know that this cell is a 2, and this is then a 5. Notice we still don't know which of the three numbers, 1, 7, and 9, go into which three cells, but we have now solved two previously unknown cells in column 1. Next we can look at block 7. Now we can eliminate all the 1s, 7s, and 9s in block 7 that are not part of the triplet. So we can eliminate these three ones. There are no other sevens aside from the triplet in block seven, but there is a nine, so we can eliminate this nine. Now we have revealed another triplet, which was previously a hidden triplet, the three, four, and six in these three cells. But wait, you might say, there are only two numbers in one of the cells, not three. Yes, it's still considered a triplet. As long as there are three numbers that are the only numbers that can go into three shared cells. So these three cells are the only cells in the unit that can contain a three, four, or six, and is therefore considered a triplet. As long as we have three numbers shared between three cells in the same unit. So here in block seven, we have a three, four, six triplet. But this doesn't help us eliminate anything more since they are not in the same row or column and we have already eliminated everything we can from the block. Let's go back to the other triplet we found, this one in column 2, the 1, 4, and 8. Since the 1, 4, and 8 must be in these three cells in column 2, then all other 1s, 4s, and 8s can be eliminated from column 2, so we can eliminate this one and now this cell becomes a 9. And staying with column 2, we can eliminate this 4, so this becomes a 3. Now we can eliminate these two 3s, and now we have a matching pair, the 4 and the 6. Notice this hidden single in column 3. It's the only cell in column 3 that can contain a 3, but it's hiding behind the 2, so it's called a hidden single. So now this cell is a 3. Now we have a naked single here, the 1, so this cell is a 1, and then this cell becomes a 2, and block 1 is done. Here's another example. In column 5, the three cells in rows D, E, and F contain three numbers, 
6, 7, and 9, and no other numbers, so we have a triplet here. These three cells must contain those three numbers. We don't know which cell will be the 6, the 7, or the 9, but those numbers must go into these three cells and nowhere else in the column or block. Those cells are all in the same block, block 5, and in the same column, column 5, so all the 6s, 7s, and 9s can be eliminated as candidates from block 5, and also column 5. But the rest of column 5 is already filled in, so let's just look at block 5. Now we can eliminate the 6, 7, and 9 from this cell, and the 6, 7, and 9 from this cell, which leaves us with a 2, 3 matching pair. This means that all the 2s and 3s in the same unit, in this case the row, can also be eliminated. So we can eliminate all these 3s, and now this cell becomes a 6. Triplets can come in different arrangements. Let's say the triplet numbers are A, B, and C. The arrangement can be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, or A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, or A, B, C, A, B, B, C, or even A, B, B, C, A, C. Let's take a look at some of these triplet arrangements. Here's an example of an ABC, ABC, ABC triplet. The 2, 3, and 8 in these three cells. Each of these cells must contain either a 2, a 3, or an 8, so we can eliminate all the other 2, 3, and 8 candidates in the row. And now we can see this cell is a 1, and this is a 7. Here's an example of another triplet, again the 2, 3, and 8, but here it's the 3, 8 in this cell, and the 2, 8 in this cell, and then the 2, 3 in this one. It's still a combination of three numbers in only three cells, but instead of A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, that is three numbers in three cells, it's an A, B, A, C, B, C arrangement, that is three numbers, but split two, two, and two into the three cells. Once we identify this triplet, we can eliminate all the other two, threes, and eights in the row, and now this cell becomes a one, and this is a seven. So far, these examples show triplets that are obvious and not hiding behind any numbers. We can call these triplets naked triplets. So what about a hidden triplet? Is there such a thing? Yes, there is. Here is an example of a hidden triplet. Do you see it? Again, it's the 2, 3, and 8, but now they are hiding behind other numbers. Still, the row must have a 2, a 3, and an 8, so look for three cells that can contain at least one of those numbers, and they are these three cells. This cell with 3, 8, and this cell with 2, 8, and this cell with 2, 3, 8. These three cells contain the 2, the 3, and the 8 with other numbers, so it's a triplet, but it's a hidden triplet. Here in this cell, the 3, 8 is hiding behind the 1, and here the 2, 8 is hiding behind the 1 and 7, and here the 2, 3, 8 is actually naked, not hiding. Once we eliminate those numbers, the row looks like this. And now we can see another triplet here, the 1, 5, and 7. If there were any other 1, 5s, or 7s in block 2, they could now be eliminated. That's it for this lesson on triplets. In the next lesson, I'll review all that we've learned so far to solve a mid-level challenging puzzle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.